Hi, Scorpio. It's me. It's Julia here to do your love reading. I hope you're doing fantastic. You're being safe out there, staying nice and cool. It's very hot out, so make sure if you go outside that you, you know, wear a baseball cap or a hat. Take water with you, okay? Keep yourself dehydrated. Sending you much love and light. Thank you so much for your love and support for me and the channel. You guys are amazing. I love you. Um, for those of you that are new, this is a Scorpio channel, but cross watchers, you're welcome here. If you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. Turn your notification bell to all because I do upload videos every single day for Scorpio. Okay? Um, if you are looking for a live tarot card reading from my psychics or tarot card readers between now and the end of August, you can call up as much as you need. Just make sure to use the promo code so you can get the reading discounted. Um, the promo code is things are heating up. Okay. Um, if you want a personal love reading with me, you go to www.heartpassiontarot.com, go to products and tarot card readings, and then you fill out the form with the questions you want answered, your zodiac sign, the person's zodiac sign. All those readings are discounted. And then I send you your own video to your own private email address. Okay. That's how it works. So with that being said, you may check out the readings, too, over at Heart Passion Tarot, too, okay? Um, I'm going to start again with the Scorpio bonus readings, or you may want to join Patreon so you can get early access to bonus love readings for the sign of Scorpio. All right, here we go. For Scorpio, please, I call upon the angels from all four corners of the universe, from the north, the south, the west, and the east. I call upon the Holy Spirit to come into this reading for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know in regards to love? What does Scorpio need to know in regards to love, dear angels? Thank you. I didn't take that because I did not. Not the, not the angels. For Scorpio, please, when it comes to love. There we go. Do we have a reversal here? Wait a minute. I mean, not a reversal. I mean, a flipped card? No. Okay. So the Queen of Swords is here. That could be you, Scorpio. With the Four of Wands, some of you could have air in your chart. Or there could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. That's thinking about a reunion, commitment, a marriage here. Some of you could be married to an air sign. Let's see what's going on. Here you are, Scorpio. You showed up as death here. Okay, and one for the outcome, please. Thank you. The Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here. We have victory. We have success. Something that you manifested. You're having your wish fulfillment here. A lot of you are leaving a situation that's very painful. Okay. And then you may be sending information to somebody about how, or somebody sending you information about how they're leaving a marriage. That's a message within itself. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, you're here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, again, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Okay, so in the center of the read, I feel you're really thinking about coming into union with somebody, maybe commitment, maybe even getting a house with somebody. Maybe some of you are cutting out a situation. I won't know until we... A lot of you want commitment, though, I'm saying. Okay. The Eight of Wands in the recent past. A lot of communication going back and forth between you and a soulmate, somebody that you love here. Somebody may be at crossroads here about the future. Or how it's going to play out. Card down. I feel in the recent past, um, you may have been dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that was healing here. Okay? Had some healing to do. You may have been offering your love to them, and, and you know, they just couldn't accept it because, you know, they had to heal from some kind of heartache from the past. Okay? We're seeing now that... Um, card that was already on here. Some kind of justice. 
Maybe your person was going through some kind of court situation here. Okay. But breakup of a marriage for some of you. Okay, a divorce if you were dealing with an air sign. All right. So that's the situations. I'm seeing two situations for Scorpio. You were dealing with an air sign, okay, um, who may have been going through a divorce. Or, Scorpio, you were in love with somebody, somebody was in love with you, like an earth, uh, earth sign, um, who had to do some healing first, okay? And was not ready to accept your love then, but they are now. Okay, the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? There may be a lot of arguing or fighting around you, especially if you're in a relationship where you're not happy. The Five of Wands. Why is it here? Yeah, you, you're you're actually thinking about this, Scorpio, and what you want to do about this. Because I feel you just don't want to be in that. Yeah, it's becoming too much for you. It's just becoming too much for you. And um, feel you're starting to become really, really guarded when it comes to a particular connection. I feel that's for those of you that are already in a commitment. Um, I feel here somebody may be reaching out to you, or you may receive a message offering you some kind of new beginning here, or you're receiving messages from somebody and you'd like to have a new beginning with them. Okay, the, also the Ace of Pentacles is here, it's stability, okay. We see victory here, we see you getting a wish. Could be with that same Virgo from the past, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, somebody's seeing clearly now, and they're finding the strength, and they're, they're coming towards you for a reunion here. They want to come into union with you now. Because they're ready. They weren't ready before. You know, it's like when we talk about divine timing being at play. The Knight of Pentacles. Now, it doesn't have to be those particular signs, right? But if it's your story, you'll know. So, something has been behind the scenes, or in front of the scenes, progressing very slowly, but it's solid. It's not something, a Scorpio, that's flighty. You know, that comes in with a lot of passion and then um, it's just based upon passion. No, this is a situation that's been progressively moving. You know, the connection's been moving really, really slow, but on solid footing. Yeah, there's a new beginning here and there's love being offered. And it's all about leaving the past behind with the Eight of Cups and going towards your um, Ten of Cups with a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of passion, right? Like excitement. I feel you've been alone for a long time, Scorpio, and you're ready to take this leap of faith with this Empress or Emperor. Scorpio, here you are in the near future. So tell me why death is here for Scorpio when it comes to love in the near future. Here you are. It's all about going through some kind of transformation here. And you have a choice to make, Scorpio, between two. Or two places, or two things. You may be trying to balance a lot of things right now. You do love somebody. You do have feelings for somebody. Again, another two. But you're at crossroads. Certain things have to happen first before the two of you can come together. You're also thinking about, you know, times where things haven't worked out, right? But there's love between you and another person. I feel this person's been waiting for you, right? So that the two of you can start this new chapter in your life. This is a person that gives equal give and take. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Okay? 
there's a new beginning here and there's a lot of very sweet emotions and sensitivity and feelings here for your future this is somebody who's very loving you see it's a lot of fast communication very loving communication the sun is here okay and you could unexpectedly find yourself really being wanting to be in a commitment or marriage it's what you manifested this is your happiness Scorpio after going through so much heartache and betrayal and having to stick up for yourself and you know and a lot of overthinking but I'm seeing this Empress with the four of wands so this is a very special connection for you Scorpio it's not one that you'll find every day or that they'll find you right it's you guys are like your soulmates the three of wands waiting for your ships to come in waiting for the right one right and from the three of wands we go to the ace of wands with the ace of pentacles and with huh, something that you were wishing for you know who you want and it's this king of pentacles Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy you need to know though this person is very um, protective of their energies and the people they allow in okay they do do a lot of overthinking this is somebody um, who is guarded okay but they're ready for this new start now this is not going to be for all of you but if you're a Scorpio um, I do feel your person is really worried about, fearful about, or this could be you, Scorpio, about getting ripped off again or being conned again or whatever. So the, you guys need to work on that, okay? Because I'm seeing that there's really nice cards here, okay? But it's it's past things now. Scorpio, if you're already dealing with somebody like this, who's toxic, who always takes, takes, takes from you, you need to release that so that you can come into union with your person. Look, you see? There's justice here and the Three of Cups here. Okay, so there's some kind of a celebration here for the two of you. So there is something that needs to be released maybe some healing that has to be let go of or a way of thinking so that you can actually come into union with your true person temperance is here it's all about divine timing it's all about i'm not going to say the p word don't worry <laughs> tell me about temperance sagittarius energy why is temperance here yeah um i feel for your person here they're they're patiently waiting for your arrival there may be distance between the two of you. Temperance, please, for Scorpio's person. There's a new beginning, though. So it's on. It's going to happen. Temperance, please. There you go. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with the Tower. Tell me about temperance, please. This person may surprise you, Scorpio. Or you may surprise this person. Tell me about temperance. <laughs> the nine of cups. Yeah. You're going towards your empress here. Scorpio. The eight of pentacles in the hopes and fears. Why is it here?
the Eight of Pentacles. The Page of Cups, and my face is getting itchy. <laughs> So there's really sweet emotions here. Somebody could also could be a little bit younger, but you both want to work on this. It, it's happiness here. And no matter if um, things didn't work out before a couple of times because it wasn't the right time, there's still love here. I still see commitment on the table. I see love being offered, passion being offered for a brand new beginning here. The Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Scorpio? Why is the Knight of Swords? Somebody's coming rushing in. Could be you, could be them. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, you want this victory. Why is the Knight of Swords here? It's an equal give and take. Do you believe that, Scorpio? Someone's not taking from you the first time, right? I see travel or travel plans being made with the chariot here. You're manifesting. You're putting this all together. The Knight of Swords, please. Why is it here? Yeah, you're going towards your wish fulfillment. I feel it's a Virgo. There's a brand new beginning here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. That was not upright. This is... Okay. So I feel there's excitement about making this choice. You're doing everything the right way, though. You're showing incredible strength by not rushing in. But there's love here. Yeah. Tell me more about the lovers. I feel this time you want to do things differently. Yeah. There you go. So, we see a little gift being made or something here. But the Wheel of Fortune is here. And, um, you got a brand new beginning. Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. It doesn't have to be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Right? Somebody here could be leaving somebody from the past so that the two of you can come together. Maybe just even the thought of somebody from the past. Right? They're listening to their intuition. The Three of Cups is here. Justice is here. Okay? So, things will be made fair. Um, and I do see that um, there is a celebration, a coming together, a reunion for the person and you that you're supposed to be with, Scorpio. All right? That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings, Scorpio. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Love and kisses. You be safe. Bye.